Hey there and welcome back to the channel. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for being here. First of all, let me just say thank you to the people that recently subscribed to this YouTube channel. I really appreciate it. And thank you for helping me grow in this community. It really means a lot to me. And thank you for your feedback. Uh, thank you for your feedback to my previous video. And some of you ask about um, the low light performances of, uh, of Leica Q2. And to be honest, I haven't used it that much um, in, um, in low light perform in low light or uh, uh, shooting at night. When I got this, uh, when I got this camera, I went out and uh, shot some portraits, and um, I shot also a nighttime street photography video, which I'm gonna link uh, up here somewhere. And now, receiving your feedback, I decided to uh, to go out and uh, do a. Uh, one more video, um, nighttime street photography. But uh, before going to the video, let me just show you a couple of uh, pictures taken with the Leica Q2 in uh, low light situations. So you can uh, judge yourself um, how the camera performs in, uh, in low light. And um, here are the shots. So the first shot here, um, the ISO um, 1600 at uh, f1.7. Um, uh, it looks pretty clean, looks pretty okay, nothing um, yeah, nothing special, not bad. It's just like I would say normal um, ISO for uh, for this camera. Uh, it's it's pretty usable, so uh, I don't mind uh, having a little bit of grain here. And uh, the next one is um, at ISO uh, 2000, and uh, it looks slightly grainy, slightly noisy, but uh, still okay. And uh, uh, with a little bit of noise reduction, uh, you can get away with this shot uh, easily. It's uh, yeah, it looks pretty pretty okay to me. Uh, the next one is uh, at um, 3200 and uh, it has a little bit more noise um, but yeah, still okay for me, uh, still usable. I, I use it quite often uh, when I go um, out and uh, shoot um, nighttime uh, street photography videos uh, at um, 3200 so for me it's, it's not a problem, I, uh, I'm, I'm fine with that. Let's go to another file. This one is a, an, another one is shot at um, ISO uh, 3200, but uh, with more light here. So uh, basically you can see more the grain um, around the subject. Still okay, if, you, if I zoom out it's, it looks pretty pretty clean and one more time usable. It's, uh, it's perfectly okay. This is at uh, 4000 ISO and you can probably see more and more noise here but yeah still okay if you're uh, if you're zooming out so let's go to the next photo and this is at iso um, 5000 you can see the the grain pretty uh, pretty obvious here and uh, yeah it's still okay when you when you zoom out and you see like the picture normally it doesn't it doesn't bother you that that much but when you uh, when you zoom it 100% uh, you can um, you can quite see the um, the grain in the, in the pictures and the last one should be at uh, ISO um, 6400 grain is here pretty pretty obvious and you lose some details uh, the colors however are still accurate but uh, when you zoom to 100% you, you can still um, clearly see that noise uh, uh, on the pictures once again yeah these are the pictures um, I guess with noise reduction you can uh, you can uh, you can use it without any any problem. To be honest, I didn't find myself in the situations where I needed to go above um, 6400 ISO. And uh, taking consideration that the Leica Q2 has um, f point, uh, f1.7 f um, aperture um, lens, this allows you to, to get more light in and uh, to have uh, faster shutter speeds at night and to, to lower your ISO. Um, personally, I didn't, I didn't need to go um, above um, 6400. Before going to the video, uh, let me just uh, point out that I uh, encountered the same challenges uh, as in my previous videos. So, um, there's a still um, there's still a lockdown going on here, so there are less people in the streets, and people are more aware, more uh, scared at night. It's a little bit more difficult to approach uh, um, people, and Brussels is a pretty dead city to be honest. But uh, nevertheless, I'm happy with the shots, uh, and I'm, I'm like I'm sure that my uh, my pictures uh, will go um, my picture will be better once the lockdown is over. 
uh, I'm talking about my nighttime um, uh, street photography. It's gonna, I'm sure it's gonna improve one, uh, once the lockdown is over and uh, uh, the city is more vibrant. But I'd like to hear your, uh, your challenges regarding the, um, the nighttime street photography. So, uh, and how do you cope with, uh, with pandemics, with uh, lack of light, lack of people? Uh, and yeah, so feel free to drop me a comment. And uh, without any further ado, let's go into the, um, to the video. And feel free to give me a thumbs up if you like the pictures and subscribe to this channel if you haven't. And uh, yeah, give me your feedback in the comments. Another one.
That was it. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching. I hope you liked it. Feel free to let me know what you think about the pictures in the comment section below. And uh, I would love to have your feedback and I would love to have your thoughts about nighttime street photography and uh, what are your challenges. So um, yeah, feel free to drop me a comment. And uh, yeah, meanwhile, stay safe, take care and um, see you very soon. Peace. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Thank you.